Hey everyone, welcome back to another 31 Minutes solo podcast. We were just about to record a video and it's a question from one of our listeners, viewers, and it was a really good one about the zone. So I said to Jack as we were doing it, this could have a little bit more content than just a TikTok video or Instagram video and it might be a bit long. So let's do a podcast on it. Morning, Jack. Good morning. Uh, so let's start with the question because I, I think it's really good. Uh, like it's, it's probably a real life example of the zone. So it was to a story you said, your first job every day is to find the zone. And somebody responded, how can I do that in a few minutes time? Usually I wake up at about 4.15 and leave to work at about 5. Okay. So great question because that's reality. You know, there's things in life that change. You're not going to wake up all the time, you know, with all this um, – time to get into the zone and first of all let's talk about what the zone is so the zone is a calm place that feels exciting mixed with satisfaction that's sort of how it is it's a vibrational place an energy place that you feel very steady in and you're looking forward to what's coming not the anxiety of the day is just about to build and start and you're in it and you're going to get punched around and that's not the zone. So the zone is a gentle place. It's almost like the peacefulness of the morning, but you don't have to have it peaceful. You don't have to have it like this calm state, like you're sitting on top of a mountain. But you can be in any situation and hold your frequency steady, your energy set point steady, and keep a firm footing. So that, that's a learned thing over time, but it's a very important thing. So the question is, how does he get into the zone in a short amount of time between 4.15 and 5 o'clock? That's plenty of time. And you've got to design something that works for your life because when you walk out the door at 5 o'clock, you've got to be um, almost like stepping out in, from a position of excitement. That's when you feel like you're locked in ready to go that's when you're laying the energy path in front of you because remember you're throwing out energy in front of you constantly and the energy you're throwing out is creating the path that you're going to walk and it's going to invite all the things that match it along the way that's how important it is so what you're living right now is the old energy that you've thrown out from before so each moment in time now and then now and then now you're meeting the match of energy vibration that you've thrown out from before. So that's why I always talk about starting the day in the zone. Do I start every day in the zone? Pretty much. Sometimes different varying degrees because I have a routine that's locked and loaded. If I don't do my morning routine, I would say I'm not quite as in the zone because there's something about the momentum of tasks that I do that I look forward to that gets me uh, aligned with the, the energy of the day for the day and then off I go. Sometimes it changes based on time. Like today I got up at 5.45, which is quite late for me. 5.45 or is it 6? can't remember. It was like later. Could have even been 6.45. Hmm, can't remember now. But I still did my morning routine because I don't start my day till 10 o'clock with appointments and I try and do that every day so I know I've got enough space. Now that's very different than the question we've been asked. But remember, this has been a long process for me. This has been many years of crafting. How do I want my perfect days to be? Where am I going to find the most energy alignment in each day? Because I don't want to feel like I'm overwhelmed. And there's definitely times when you get busier than others. But I don't want to feel overwhelmed. I like a nice rhythm to the day now. But I've worked on that for more, probably more than 20 years. Okay, so it's a process. So who was it actually, Jack, that asked this question? What's his name? I am Lib Libor, Libo okay. Jr. I am Libo Jr. <laughs> yeah, I am Libo Jr. Okay, so where you're at in life right now is you've got to leave at five o'clock to, to be, have your commitments. It's sort of the same for everybody. I would pick one task. 
You could do two if you wanted, but you don't want to rush. That's the last thing you want to do. So I'd go to bed at a time that's going to allow you to get up at four o'clock and you're happy to get up at four o'clock 99% of the time. So for me, that would be eight o'clock in bed. Now, I don't know if you've got kids. I don't know how your life looks. I don't know what that is, but you're going to have to train your mind. Let's say you're able to get to bed by eight o'clock every day. Because your energy tank that's full from the night before is the number one task that you've got to step into the next day. Without that, if that's not, if that's 60% full, 70% full, you're not going to be as aligned as you would if it's 95 to 100% full. Sleep is my number one focus. And right now I'm drilling down on what quality sleep looks like. So that quality sleep for me is, and I've talked to Olivia, the sleep expert, I've talked to Tommy, I've talked to many people about it. Now I'm learning my sleep pattern for the day, uh, for each day, and I know I've got to get to bed by 8.30. That's the time I've got to get to bed. If I get to bed by 9 o'clock, look at an example today. I went to bed at about 9.05 last night. I was running a little bit later than usual and went to bed at 9.05 and then probably got to sleep by... 9.20 9.20 or 9.30. I woke up an hour later than I usually do because I never wake up on an alarm clock. It is the, well, I know some people need to, but when you wake up at an alarm clock, you're just not ready. So you've got to work out what's your optimum sleep time. Mine is 8.30 to about 4.30. That's optimum for me. And if I do that, way I go. I'm up. And as soon as I wake up, I just lay in bed for a couple of minutes just to feel my energy state. And I'm like, am I right in the zone? Am I not? Even if I'm not exactly right there, I might even just close my eyes for a bit and give it another 10 minutes because that's my first port of call. And you know, when you feel clicked in and then I start telling myself a little bit of a momentum story, like I feel good, I'm keen, I'm excited. I get, I get the rampage, as Esther Hicks says, rampage of appreciation going for the day. The bed's warm, I feel great just a minute or two or three. Sometimes you might want to be for five, but minute or two or three. And you get the, the energy momentum going. Nothing feels better than just laying there and feeling your energy for the day and then thinking about the anticipation of excitement for the day. That's how I start. So I would say, for if I know he wakes up at 4.15, but if it was, you could work out how to get to bed. Here's something else really interesting. I was waking up at one or two o'clock in the morning for the last few nights, not the last couple but before that and I rang Tommy and I said how come I'm waking up at one or two o'clock in the morning all the time over the last week or so really busting ready to go and he said because you're eating a little bit late than what you should and you're probably eating carbs when you shouldn't be you know what he was exactly right I'm a bit addicted to paleo bread at the moment and I was having it at night and I was eating about seven o'clock maybe 7 30 whereas if i last night last couple of nights he said just adjust it don't eat after 6 30 at the latest and don't eat any carbs so i did that straight through all night no no waking up even if you wake up a little bit you just go straight back to sleep but it wasn't like before where i'm like literally at two o'clock in the morning boom ready to go and i was like wow i feel like i'm ready for the day So that's one little hack that I would be looking at right there. So when you wake up at four in the morning, you're ready to go. What's your one or two things that's going to get your motor running and your excitement pumping? Mine are breath work. So three rounds of breath work. Wim Hof beginner video on YouTube. Ice bath for six minutes. I'm not saying you have to do this. I'm just telling you what mine is. And then a red light bed for 30 minutes. And then I do cardio after that for 25 minutes on the Stairmaster, most of the time, but not always, depending on time. And also I don't rush. So if I feel like I can do cardio, but it's going to push me into the rushing zone because my breakfast takes a while as well because I do pods and then I do, uh, I do juice. I do a Tommy's skin juice. Then I do pods and then I make a whole foods breakfast, and then I'm gone. If I do that morning, every morning, mate, I'm pumping for the day. Like I'm talking, busting out of the seams, redlining, energy high, keen as, bursting with excitement 
ready for the day, the momentum has started. So back to I am Ibo Junior. <laughs> back to I, that, that one, yourself. I would say, sorry, we can't pronounce your name very well. I would say pick one or two things that you're going to use for the next one oh, year, whatever it's going to be, until you can adjust your work over time where you get more time. I don't know what you do, but I, I had to. I used to start at 7.30 like everybody else. I used to work all the way through, and then I slowly adjusted as I got a team around me and great people and then worked out what I wanted to work on, what I didn't want to work on. But it was a long progress, long process. And because the morning routine is probably the most valuable thing in my day for me. The landing routine is just as valuable, but the morning one really sets you up. And then you've got to look at through the day. So since I've been on the gut health diet, I don't skip a beat with what I eat. I was out with Jackson yesterday and I just wouldn't eat out. You know, we were out at an appointment and the guy invited me out for lunch. I said, no, I don't eat food out. I just have a special I call a special diet that I stick to and he said oh, okay fair enough and we drove all the way home two hours and ate at home and then I went out again so that's how strict I am with maintaining my energy so putting yourself in the zone in a few minutes could literally be enough sleep is one really really good quality sleep waking up and doing one thing that you love and you look forward to each day and I would say breath work would be the number one outside in the air three rounds it only takes five or six minutes and then you could go in have a shower have a cold shower have your breakfast and go on out the door if you just did that consistently though your body's going to crave it over time i used to hate breath work i used to really not be interested in it because it was like really oh here i go i gotta sit here and do breaths and, it, and it's sort of like it was hard work and i didn't like it i just anyway but now i love it so you've got to adjust, you've got to acclimate to these things. And once your body starts to feel the benefit of it, it's going to lock it in forever, probably, until you, if you, unless you get lazy. And then what you do after that is add one more thing as you can adjust your time or, or as time as allows. But there's an overarching umbrella here, and that's never to rush. I'd rather drop something than rush. Because when you rush, you actually pop yourself out of the energy stream that you're looking for, which contains the zone. The zone is a place of clicked in excitement, satisfaction, looking forward to the next step. And it's a rhythm. It feels a nice rhythm. You know, it's not like magic happens, but you feel good. You feel really good. Like I'm doing this podcast right now. It's 8.53 in the morning. My first appointment is 10 o'clock. I've got enough time to finish this. I've had a shower, done all of that sort of stuff. I know in my mind uh, I can finish this in a couple of minutes, have breakfast, off to the next appointment, and I'm ready to win, that, to win that business. I'm ready to go meet that client, exchange energy, and knock it out of the park because I've set my day up so well now. So take your time. Find the zone sometimes when you can you'll get you'll get to really start being sensitive to this energetically and when you're in the zone really appreciate it and milk that thing really appreciate it milk that thing really appreciate it milk that thing and when you're not in the zone look at why did you not get enough sleep did you eat too late did you have you not taken your vitamins have you not got your gut health right have you been drinking have you done all these sorts of things are you rushing look at why and then slowly and surely try and avoid that next time try and avoid that next time and over time you will see that there is a little routine that almost puts you in the zone every day your routine that you're going to build over time and it will almost guarantee that you'll be in the zone or near enough every day and you will start to go from strength to strength your results will increase your health will increase your frequency will, in will increase your vibrancy will increase your world will change everything will smooth out and you'll actually just start running at a pace where everyone looks at you and goes wow you're killing it <laughs>